Katie, tell me a little bit about your graduate of Lisbon and you graduated with two degrees. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, I went to Lisbon High School. I graduated in 2019 as valedictorian, but I also went to the Columbia County Career and Technical Center. I went for precision, precision, it's hard to say. I went for machine shop. Yeah. Uh, and I graduated with an honors diploma from there as well. You were the first from Lisbon to do that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I went quarter day, which no one had done before. Typically at the Career Center, you'd go full day or half day. Um, no one had done quarter before, but we did that so I could continue to take my honors courses and stay in the top 10 or as valedictorian. So while you were in uh, Career Tech, you had also an internship. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I worked at Butech Bliss. It's a great company. I can't say anything about, bad about there. Good people. Um, I started, I believe it was in June of 2018. Um, I worked all summer. I got to run milling machines and lathes, mostly lathe, which I liked a lot. Um, I got to set up CNC tooling for the CNC machines. It's a little bit different. We set tool heights and had to read through what tooling they need and set it up. And that was a good experience. Um, I learned a lot at the Career Center, but just hands-on there, um, getting to learn what that environment's like. Um, and I worked through my senior year at Butech as well. I drove in on Saturdays. Uh, I got there at 5 a.m., which was early. That was an adjustment. Um, but I really appreciated them working around my schedule. Um, they were very lenient with me, very willing to help and to teach me, and I enjoyed my time there a lot. Did they want to keep you? They did, yeah. There's a lot more opportunities here than people realize at first. Um, especially in high school, we always heard about how hard it was to get a job and there's not much available. But then when I went to the Career Center, we had like a job fair and I got to talk to all these people. And I learned a lot of it is getting to know people and seeing what's out there. And you just have to look and there's so much more available. Um, when you know people and have connections, then you'd be amazed at the opportunities that come up. Um, it's amazing. I wish there was a bigger push for career tech education. A lot of the stigma is that if you go to trade school, you don't go to college. And I, I don't see where that comes from um, because my trade school experience has helped me so much here at school. Um, it's definitely been a, a push. So I think maybe if there's a way to explain that to students, that you can go to trade school or go to college or even go straight into the workforce. There's no shame in that. They need people. Um, a lot of people I've talked to, they're looking for workers and they don't have them. So can you see yourself at some point going back to the high schools and, and being an advocate? Um, if I had that option, I definitely would. It's something that matters to me. Um, kind of, I think, because I always believed the stigma before I went. And now that I go, it's, it's such a difference, you know. I see that it's not what everyone hears, what they think. And that matters to me, you know. It impacted my life, and I think other people should be aware of it. What kind of stigma did you hear? Uh, it was always the idea that if you go to a career center or something that you weren't as involved in your education, um, you were limiting your opportunities, or you'd be a, a blue collar worker with a, not a good association with blue collar. And that's not the case at all. Um, there's a lot, of, especially in the machining program, students that care, and if you think about it, some people go to college because they think that's the next step. But for someone to intentionally go to the career center, that shows initiative. And some of those programs are hard to get into. And People work hard at the Career Center, and people need to value more blue-collar skills. What would you tell people, young people, mm -hmm. um, maybe junior high, okay. who are looking at this area and think there's nothing here? What would, what would be your message to them? Figure out what it is they're interested in, and then sincerely look. Um, it's one thing to think there's nothing around, and it's another thing to find what you're wanting and then look for it. Because more than often than not, it's there and you just don't know about it. And then finding those connections, finding those people, and getting involved in it. I guess taking the initiative, I guess. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with is brought to you by. I want to retire knowing we did it right. We want. To know that it's been worth something. It's worth everything. Be intentional about your worth. Farmers National Bank Wealth Management. 